Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Aquarius? This is your late night energy reading. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. I know everyone is probably up, some sleep, some not. But I uh, just wanted to do a, a late night energy reading for someone. Aquarius, spirit guys, brought you into my energy. Um, to all of my subscribers, I love you guys. Please excuse me, I haven't fighting this cold. But um, I have a message for you, Aquarius, okay? I am pulling from the Yin Yang Oracle deck, okay? Yin Yang Oracle deck I'm pulling from. And uh, we're going to get some clarity about what's going on. Uh, to new viewers, cross-watchers, come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else, okay? Spirit guides, divine universe, I ask you to give me clarity, understanding most of all, I need your divine protection. I love you guys. Mmm. I love you guys. Happy Mother's Day. Happy, happy Mother's Day to all of you that plays a part in Mother's Day. Spirit guys, this is for Aquarius. What's the message you have for Aquarius? What is Aquarius' message? Let's see what's going on with you, Aquarius. Let's see what's in your energy, Aquarius. Hmm. Let's see what it is first. First card is facade. Okay. That's the first card came out, Aquarius. Um, next card is family, home, commitment. Uh, next card is limitation, fears. Next card is reflection, projections, for reflection. And the other card is celebration, gifts, and abundance is here. Let me pull one more. Let's see what Spirit Guys is trying to tell me. One more card. Oh, oh. One more card, Spirit Guides. So it looked like someone was. Okay, springtime. So something you've been going through this spring, okay? Spring is here. It looked like someone was uh, uh, wearing a facade. Um, you got facade here, okay? They were painting a picture as, as if they wanted a family, wanted commitment is here. This is someone that was putting on a big, a, a, a big mask, facade. They was faking that they wanted a commitment. Um, uh, I feel like this is someone that you could have dealt with this spring. Okay, the seed is here spring. But uh, their fear, they, they had a lot of fears. Okay. They had a lot of fears. They was projecting a lot, okay? A lot of insecurities and projecting a lot uh, towards you, Aquarius, okay? That's what the reflection projections is, fears. They were projecting. They act as if they was carrying on a facade, as if they um, was w w coming in to want to be your abundance, like like you were their gift, but at the same time, they was, they were, they, there was a big facade, okay? They was they were lying. You know they were acting like they wanted uh, all of this and all of that, but at the same time they they were in fear. Okay, they were reflecting. They were projecting what they were feeling towards you. Okay, they wanted to make themselves believe that they were ready for a commitment, that they wanted family, that they wanted all of this, all of that, which indeed it was all just a show. Is what Spirit Guides is saying. It was all a show. They come in acting like it was all abundance, the gifts, uh, or the, like they were the best thing that probably happened in your life, okay? Spirit Guides, uh, any other message? Let's see. They wanted to use, what I'm getting here, uh, they wanted to use a control tactic on you, okay? This can be this can be a feminine energy or this can be a masculine energy. However, it goes reverse the roles, how they fit in your life. OK, but they was trying to use this person was trying to use a control, trying to use a control tactic uh, towards you. OK, that's what they were doing. Let's see what else is going on here. Tell me more for Aquarius. Late night energy. Okay. Yeah. Look at here. Devil energy. Toxic. Okay. This person had nothing to offer you. Okay. 
with the devil card, you could have been dealing with a Capricorn. I intuitively see a Gemini. It doesn't necessarily mean that, okay? That's just what this card represents. But this person was very toxic. I feel like this person was um, may have been codependent towards you. Maybe it was something that they wanted. But with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, they had nothing to offer you. But this, okay? They had nothing to offer you but the beef jerky and the peach or the peaches, okay? So the Ace of Wands is all about passion, intimacy. Yeah, they wanted sex. Uh, but they put on this they put on this facade, they put on this picture uh, like they wanted a commitment, like they wanted children, maybe they wanted family, okay? And um, they were just, um, that was just a control tactic that they were using towards you, Aquarius, okay? Which, in fact, they suffer from anxiety. They suffer from a lot of fear. They suffer from a lot of projecting for reflection, projecting of who they are, okay? This person was definitely at a crossroad, okay? They was not sure of themselves or sure of what he or she wanted. And the, they were very stagnant, okay? Um, so I get the energy that this is someone that, um, yeah, they want, they definitely was in fear of, of their own self because you have the anxiety and you have the fear okay they were in fear of their own selves okay so they had to they had to paint this facade like yeah i'm the man i'm the woman this is what i want i'm bringing gifts i'm bringing abundance into your life yes they, you know this facade i am um you know i want commitment i want children blah 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 in the beginning which in fact they were reflecting and when they look in the mirror it's like no i don't want that i'm afraid of that that's not what i want when in fact they suffer from anxiety depression and when in fact they suffer from um, uh, uh, um, possibly, um, commitment. Okay. So yeah, this person was, is a, a person that likes to control. They like to be in control of situations. Okay. But you are very high priestess. Okay. They don't realize that you are a high priestess and that you intuitively felt that something wasn't right. Now in the beginning, this person may have kind of, kind of swayed you and made you feel, made you think that he or she really wanted a commitment that they wanted a family. But in fact, and the more and more you started getting to know this person or knowing this person is that they was their beliefs was not true. They was painting a facade. They was they they were not true. And you are a high priestess, so high priestess. So you were getting downloads. Your intuition was telling you something, but you were still just kind of waiting it out. Okay. Now this person's energy is that. This person energy is that they don't want this to end. Okay. You got the death in the reverse. They don't want you to end this, but you have not had, you know, you have not had, they have not had no good luck. Okay. They're not having good luck. Things are not falling. Th things are not going in their favor because of how they came into your life with this facade, with wanting things and it end up that that's not what they want. So justice Okay, you have justice card here. That means that uh, karma is hitting this person. Okay, this person is in isolation. All right, in isolation. Yeah, judgment is hitting this person. A lot of soul searching, a lot of reflecting on their life. Okay, um, spirit guys, tell me more for Aquarius. Tell me more. Tell me more for Aquarius. Okay, yeah, this person is standing alone. It's standing out in the cold. Okay. They just defensive, okay, with the nine of wands, or you defensive towards this person, okay? Let's see what else. Spirit guys, tell me more. Okay. Yeah, you're in the sun, okay? You're going towards your, you know, you got strength, your sun. You are empowered, okay? You are a very empowered person. You fulfilled, okay? Fulfillment and sun. So you, you're in a happy place in your life, okay? And this person came in with this toxic energy, which is, which is the devil energy, and acting it one way. And when in reality, this person had nothing to offer you, okay? They were coming into your life, you see, deceiving. They was using a control tactic towards you. Okay, to get to get whatever it is that they wanted. They was painting a facade of what they wanted. And um, when indeed they were in the devil energy. Okay, I feel like 
what spirit guys is telling me this person was a leech they was leeching onto you they really was yeah uh, the, you look here this person was not giving you the cup and they did not give you the cup is what you expected so you walked away from this person this could be a cancer scorpio pisces that you walked away from and you're very protective your blood you're protecting your heart and you're protecting your territory okay uh some of you you could have lived with this person or if you or you could have been married with this person if you wasn't married to this person you was living up under the same roof with this person well this person is stuck with you but they have nothing they're stuck this person is stuck they looking back on nostalgia memories about you too but you're happy you're moving on you and your son you got double confirmation son strength empowerment i feel like you're very confident you empower you're around a lot of um motivation a lot of empowerment people you have a lot of support in your life and the tower has come down on this person because of how he or she came into your life and um you have healed from this person this person you thought was a soulmate thought was a king uh yeah yeah also oh okay mm. so some of you you got a soulmate coming in you got a king that sees you as an empress wants to work hard this is a wish fulfillment all these cards was at the bottom of the deck aquarius so you got someone coming in a, a union uh, some type of uh connection coming in this is a king this could be uh a Sagittarius coming in your life. They think very highly of you. It could be an earth sign coming into your life. Uh, but everything you pray for and wish for, it's about to come to fruition. The person that came into your life and act as if they wanted a family, this person is very vulnerable. That means that they want they beef jerky or their peaches. But this person came in with the wrong intentions, which Spirit Guides is saying, because they came in with a false, with this false, with this facade, like, like they wanted a family. Okay. That's why the tower is hitting them. Okay. That's exactly why the tower is hitting me, hitting them. So this person, this new person that's coming into your life, Aquarius, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna really, y'all gonna fall in love. You're gonna fall in love with this person. This, this soulmate, you're gonna, this, I feel like this person that's coming into your life could be a twin flame or soulmate. Okay. But this person had you in a third party situation. This, this other person here. Let me see what else going on in the other deck. Spirit guys, tell me more for Aquarius. Tell me more. Yeah. You knew your you know your self-worth, okay? Your expectations are high. You know your self-worth. You 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 started peeping the game, okay? You are a very nourishing, compassionate person, and this person thought that they was going to. Um, I feel like your person that's coming in towards you, uh, Aquarius, is gonna be about round autumn about uh, about around um, maybe fall time that your person is going to come um, that your um, person is going to your, your long life person going to come towards you this person has had an awakening uh, realize that uh, they play with the wrong yeah you're definitely not in separate you're definitely in separation this person is longing for you Aquarius yeah, this person's longer. I told you this person wants your sex. They're longer for you, you know, the, the intimacy. Uh, this person uh, is going through divine intervention, okay? Fate, fate is hitting this person. Fate, you got fate detours, divine intervention. Spirit guides, divine universe is uh, making this person see themselves that you can't go around trying to uh, play someone, okay? This person wants union, reunion with you, okay? This person may reach out to you and send you a message. This is a water sign. I mean, what messages, communication. Um, yeah, this person wants to message you, okay? Spirit guys, tell me more for Aquarius. Mm, party, yeah. This person external. This person probably um, was someone that... Um, is regretting they they partied a lot or they, they they dealt with maybe three women okay you probably was in a third party situation okay but they regret now they regretting it okay now this person is regretting it because um they're going through a the truth is here let's see the truth is here they're regretting what they done to you but you're going on you moved on you're very empowered you see that? Yeah, absolutely. This person, deception, temptation. See, this person was uh, painting a picture like they uh, wanted something, but they were just, they were being very deceptive. Okay. They were, uh, 
they were, their intentions is what I'm trying to tell you. The cards is right here. Their intentions, the facade, the deception. Uh, they came in trying to portray themselves as one way when in fact they were being very deceptive. They was trying to use a control tactic on you to get what they wanted, whatever that was. Spirit guides, tell me more. Maybe they just wanted sex and you might have wanted more, okay? They were being very deceptive. They was like, okay, I'm agree to what she says or what he says. If she says she want a family, I'm going to say, yeah, I want a family too. If he say I want a family commitment, okay, yeah, I'm going to commit. So they done, he done that for a control tactic. He or she done that for a control tactic just so that they can come in and get what it is that their intentions was. You see, they were being deceptive. They were lying. Yeah. I feel like your partner's going to come in about around autumn time, Aquarius. Okay. You learn self-love intentions. Yeah. They're, they're intentions. Okay. Intentions. A lot of you are on a self-love journey, but their intentions was, yeah, look at here. Look at here. They was hiding, you know, lack. They, they, they have a problem with, um, they, their insecurities, lack of doubts. Okay. They don't have, he or she don't have, um, don't have, I want to say don't have, um, hmm, a lot of motivation. They really didn't have a lot of motivation in this. They was just playing along. They was just, he or she was just being deceptive, very deceptive. And you, you learned the truth. The moon card is here. Okay. The moon card, they were, they were, on, they was dealing with a lot of shadow. Okay. With the moon here, they was holding a lot of secrets, a lot of shadow things that was within themselves. Okay. They were carrying a dark energy is what spirit guys is telling me. A lot of secrets, dark energy, dark, uh, dark intentions, their intentions, the bottom of this deck, their intentions. Yeah. They're definitely, he or she was definitely, um, was a dark energy. Meaning that was a, the person you was dealing with, spirit guys say that was a karmic. That was a dark karmic you was mess you were dealing with, okay? You see this? You see this? Pay, you see this picture? Pay close attention to this picture. You see his face here? You see that? A facade. It's a control tactic that he used, he or she uses on women or men, Okay, to get whatever it is that he's trying to accomplish, whatever he's doing. Now, this is him, him or her. Okay, they're sitting in regret. Okay, this person may even try to reach out to you, but I see you over here in your empowerment, over here in your energy. You have pulled your energy about, you have pulled your energy back, and uh, this person had you in a third party situation. Okay, it was you, somebody else, and somebody else. Okay, Spirit Guides is showing me it was three. Okay, three people. You, somebody, and he had and the, he or she had somebody else. And there it is again. The party, it was three women or three men. Okay. And so that he or she had intentions, uh con tried to see who they can control, uh, who they can who he can control out of the three women or the three men he was trying to figure out who he can control used to control tactic on and i feel like it did not work on you because you are surrounded what spirit guys is showing me you with this fulfillment empowerment you got the sun card here uh aquarius and you have let me get this card here. Hold on. You have the sun, the abundance, and you have the empowerment. So you have a lot of support around you. Um, and so this person, whoever he was or she was, uh, they could not, they could not, it, they were eventually was being revealed. Okay. Um, they were being revealed of their deceptions. Okay. The secrets that they was holding. Um, their intentions, which is at the bottom of this, their intentions. And, um, they was, they was wearing a false face. Okay. So they were, you, they, he, whoever this person is, whoever she is, whoever he is, it could be three women he was dealing with, it could be three men he was dealing with, but he, this is something that he or she always does. Okay. This is, this is not nothing new. And so now something suddenly See, you got the devil card here, 
and you have the page of pentacles in the reverse. This person never had nothing to offer you but toxicity. This was a dark entity that came towards you. And uh, because you are so empowered, maybe you have a lot of support around you, Aquarius. This person, um, whatever their intention was, it was revealed to them. You see what I'm saying? It all came to pass, all right? The tower came down on this person. Now he or she is stuck in a karmic situation. Uh, they could be stuck with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're stuck in something that they can't get out of, okay? Right here. Something suddenly has happened to this person as I'm talking right now, okay? So, um, they, their, their own reflection of themselves because they, they are, they have nothing to offer because they have nothing to offer, the, for, offer themselves, uh, that self-worth, that, that, that accountability. That's why they're going through what they're going through because they have done this one too many times. Okay. Um, and it just came back and bit them. Okay. Uh, yeah, that part right there. Tell me more. Okay. Let's see. Yep, this is definitely a masculine energy. Yep, masculine energy. This is definitely a masculine energy. Yep, he tried to try to play three women or three. This masculine energy is showing me, Aquarius, that this is definitely a masculine energy that tried to play you. And yep, look at here, feminine energy, masculine energy. Look at that. Yep, there it is, right there. I feel like with this phantom, it, it, both of these cards popped out. I feel like he didn't know. I, he had he had no idea who you were. He had no, I, this masculine energy had no idea who you were. He had no idea that you are definitely a higher vessel. Okay. He had no idea who he was messing with. Yeah. Very intuitive. When I see this feminine energy, I see your third eye. He had, you had a higher source towards you. He had no idea who he was dealing with. And that's why he, he had to be revealed. And if he or she is going through this right now. Yep, there it is. Third eye. He had no idea that you were a high priestess. Your third, you you finally start to see this person for who he really, really was because he was revealed. Because anytime someone tries to come against a high priestess, in the beginning, they made that, you know, the high priestess try to give someone a benefit of the doubt. But eventually, when spirit guides, divine universe, God see that this person's intentions was to try and uh, put on the, 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 their deception. That's when they was. Be, that's when they became revealed. And your third eye. They did. He, this masculine energy, had no idea who you were. <laughs> yeah, they were revealed. The spirit guide, spirit team, spirit divine universe, God revealed to you who this person was. You was dealing with a dark karmic. You was dealing with a dark attachment, a dark entity. Yep, that's what you were dealing with, a dark karmic. Yep, but because you empowered, protected, you are protected. That's why this person had to be um, at the control tactic did not work because you are divinely protected. I am positive thoughts and energy, Aquarius. <laughs> I tell people, I be trying to tell people when you are divinely protected, when you are high priestess, empress, emperor, when you have something, a calling over your life, whether you have someone in your life that has a very high calling on that person's life, it is, when, just say for instance, your mother has a very high spirit calling upon her. You are protected in the realm of your mother or your father, whoever is in the higher spirit realm. And when, when these dark entities come towards you and they come towards you with intentions to harm you, intentions to throw you off of your destination, they will in fact soon be revealed. And that's what happened. Now they're stuck in something they can't get out of. And spirit guys, not only that the tower, something is definitely has happened to this person because of who they tried, who he or she tried to mess with. I am positive thoughts and energy Aquarius until next time.